Hi, this is Eric. Today I'm going to show you how to do 24 7 schedule. First thing you want to do is to save your project. You can type a name, it doesn't take long, but I feel like why should I type? So I'm going to save this and now we create a program for each day. Okay, so I've created the days for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I know the week starts from Sunday, but hey, it doesn't hurt to start from Monday either. Each program can contain the playlist for that day. So you can dive into each of them and then do your playlist in here. Um, the next thing that you have to do is to add the main command that's going to control the running of the schedule. Add command and you're going to go for the task schedule function. It should be the first item sits in here and whenever you start the whole show, it's going to do two things it's going to ensure that this is always set back to schedule mode even if you don't it will do it for you and also it's going to change the date for each of the days accordingly so let's just go dive into it and see what we've got by default it's set to every one day so what it means is that whenever any item plays it will automatically change its date to the next day so that's the next time it's going to play again so in our case we don't want to do every one day we want to do every one week because if it, this one plays and it set it to tomorrow and this one plays will set it to tomorrow as well uh, that's not gonna work so we're gonna go back in there and choose every one week and that's gonna do that for us Monday is already gone for this week so we will have to set this date to the next week Monday so that's what I'm gonna do yesterday was 18 so the next week seven days one two three four five six seven will be 25th as soon as I set that all the dates change that's because we're in auto mode it doesn't matter as soon as we start playing it will lock it up to schedule mode but you can also go there and set it to schedule mode it doesn't hurt okay so I I've set up Monday to start from 25th and then we forgot to set the time so on the 25th it's gonna be 12 a.m. that's when the day starts if you're doing a 24 hour system you might want to check first of all I'll just select the hour and I'll use my um, app arrow key to check to see if it, if I'm in 24 hours so you see it's going into 22 so that means I'm using a 24 hour system on my computer so yours might go up to 12 so if it goes up to 12 and it doesn't go above 12 then you have to do 12 oh 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 you will also see a.m. and p.m. here so you might want to choose a.m. but mine is 24 hours so I know that it's gonna be zero 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 so I'm gonna go ahead and do for the rest so this obviously it's 25th that's today we will presume it started this midnight at 00 as well on wednesday it's going to be the 20th and then i said that to zero 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 so i'm going to do that for the rest of the day all right so that's it and that's all you need to do but tuesday cannot be 25th come on today is 19th we started from zero zero midnight ago at, at midnight ago can you say that we start at midnight so we're still counting now all you have to do is to start as soon as i start it is showing tuesday as aired because um zero 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 is passed and it's fine that it's saying it's aired it, it makes sense we can start by adding some content to it so i'm just gonna go in there add right now i've got some few files in there if i double click here it's gonna update the duration for me use an input in a playlist you always have to put an input there so i'm just gonna and name this star it's just gonna sit there to ensure that the first item is not our content that we want to play same thing for the last item shouldn't be an item you actually want to play makes sense so start here and end here so these ones are not considered as items to be calculated in regards to the total duration so let me just go ahead and go add some content to tuesday it's always good not to save inside the list itself you can make your changes add up to it do whatever you want to do just close it and use the save button here that way you are sure that anytime you click save button it goes ahead and saves every single day into a folder so because we've added something to monday and i'm lazy you can see the title here it says the schedule underscore monday that's the file that we are on because if i have to go here and save it as a different file it will save all right but when the time comes and then it's playing it won't find that file that you save it will always look for the one that has underscore schedule so that's why it's important to always save from here if you're doing programs like this so i'm also going to add an input to this one at the end and also name it as n you can start playing your content whilst you're still working on other days i'm going to go into tuesday the same files here i'm lazy all i'm going to do is just delete some things so it doesn't 
look the same but these ones are audios we're gonna do the decoration thing thing here call it end so we're in tuesday we want to continue from somewhere so you can always do that by going in there and double clicking where you want to start from if i want to start from here on tuesday i'll just double click here and then it will skip the rest so i'll just close it now when you read time nothing's gonna happen because we're in schedule mode and that's where it's supposed to be what i would do is to look at the time when i want to start so i can double click on the date and i can just change the time to now when you click on now it, it captures the current time capture it and you come back by the time we come back 1104 is already gone it takes more than a second for us to click done and come back so what i do is when i, I click now i'm just going to give myself 20 seconds so when it gets to 54 1154 it will start playing tuesday if you accidentally stop the program or the it crashes or whatever happens and you want to continue from any day you can just go in there see it because as you can see as soon as you start a play in tuesday it changes the days to the 26th so let's go and check if 26th is actually tuesday next week one two three four five six seven days is going to be on the 26th and that's correct so after you've done that and you've gone into that day we want to make sure that it doesn't stay on the time that we captured so we want to reset it back to zero zero otherwise it's gonna start at that time every day if you think the content here is not enough for 24 hours and you don't want to go blank you can always add dupe in that let's say start from zero or start from whatever roll number you want to start from and repeat let's say i have only 12 hour list that i've done here and i wanted to repeat for the next 12 hours i'll just put two loops in there but it doesn't hurt to put more loops i would rather put like a thousand loop because even if it loops thousand times, it will only loop two times and then 24 hours will be up already and then Vitas will do a job by skipping this and going to the next program. The total duration for this is not up to 24 hours. So I'm just going to add another input. I'm just going to name it delay. It's just going to be there and I'm just going to give it a duration of whatever amount of time that is left that I want to delay for. I just put 22 hours here and then boom, my time shoots up to 22 hours. I can even make it 23 hours, 23, 59, 59. So I can do 24 hours then. So, you know, my total duration now becomes 23 hours just because of this dummy file that's not going to play anything. But the loop is on top of it. So that means when it plays and gets here, it won't even get to this one. It will start again from zero because that's what we said start from row zero 999 times to do and because we put this delay here it only stays there to calculate the duration that we don't have content for so when i've done that you can see that as i come back the total duration has been calculated to be 23 12. if i didn't do that it was still loop anyways your timing wouldn't be correct because you wouldn't know how many hours is left in case by accident i go in and i was supposed to be in api mode i go to api mode it stops it so you've stopped it connected to vmx you start it again go in there and you're going to choose where you want to continue from so maybe the second video so i just double click that one i'm going to close it go there again do that trick i'm going to click now i'm just going to give myself a breathing space so it's going to start from 1817 and that's too much i should have done a lower number anyway so it sets it back to 19 today and then when it plays it it has to set it back to 26 well that's where we go i didn't even finish talking so that's how it works so it continues from that day and it starts playing again thanks for watching that's how you do 24 hour schedule inside of the tax let's go